Hello World Farming, this is Jane's Videos, and I'm back with another Spirit Halloween 2020 prop review. And this one is on the Spinning Head Harlequin, which retails for $39.99 at Spirit Halloween, new for the 2020 Halloween season. I got this today at my local Spirit. I was very surprised to see her there and very happy to see her there and had to get her as soon as I saw her, as she probably is my favorite tabletop of the year. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, first off, of course, we're going to talk about the detail and appearance, which I think she has an amazing detail and appearance. This is the first ever female clown prop we've ever seen, which is really, really cool. Now, if you know me, I'm a big fan of Chance the Clown from Halloween Horror Nights, so I obviously kind of flocked to this one for that reason, and just because it's a really cool prop, and it's the first ever female clown prop we've ever seen. She's clearly very Harley Quinn-like, and I would assume that might be where her inspiration comes from, though I would say her main inspiration is just from a normal Harlequin in the first place. But she's got a really, really nice face there, a definitely awesome detail. I think her appearance is the strongest part about this prop, and even if this was a static, I would still really like it, just because she's got a really, really cool appearance. Her face looks great. It's got the uh, cracked doll look, but it definitely looks different as it has the clown makeup and stuff on it, which I really like. This might be one of my favorite SVI clown tabletops. I really like it. I think she looks great. Very creepy looking in the face there. Then she's got her hair, which I also really like. I love the red and black hair she's got. It's really cool looking. It really helps fit the character. I think it looks great. And I just adjusted her pigtails there so that you can adjust them, and it's pretty simple too. So I made them look a lot more like the prototype, prototype uh, which I do think looks better when her hair is like that. So that's how I like it. She's also got little bows in her hair, white and black, which I think look really cool. Moving down to her clothes, she's got typical Harlequin clothes. She's got the red collar, she's got the red pom-poms, and then one side is black and the other side is white and black checkers, which, or not checkers, why did I say checkers? Diamonds. I think they look really cool. I really like it. Nice Harlequin appearance. And then you've got her little tutu or skirt or whatever. But there are her legs, give you a better look at them. Uh, they're just uh, flimsy, they're not posable or anything, but that's fine because she looks fine. She looks like a doll. She looks fine how she is. She's got her shoes. And then the basic SVI doll hands, except instead of being skin color, these are pale to match the clown appearance of this prop. Here is the view from the back. Now she does have Velcro right here, which allows you to access her uh, battery compartment and all of that, but you could just lift up the uh, tutu here because actually the battery compartment and stuff is more near the bottom than the top anyway, so it's actually easier to access it from right here. But here is what she has. She's got, here's her different modes, which surprises me that she has a constant on. I, I do think SVI has done that before with uh, constant mode with the uh, tabletops, but it's not very common to see a tabletop with a constant mode, so I really like that. She's got off slash try me sensor and she's got on. So the on is obviously the constant mode, which I really like that they added that to her because that's a really nice touch. Now her sound sensor if she is sound sensor activated, it doesn't have like a, a motion sensor, I don't believe. I think it's just sound sensor, but uh, sound sensors typically work better than motion sensors unless it's IR, but tabletops never have IR, so uh, I do like that she's a uh, sound sensor. Now before I get into the demonstration of this prop, I just want to say this prop is voiced by Charlotte Reynolds. I think she does a great job on this one, in my opinion, and you can attack me for this if you have a different opinion, but please don't, it's just my opinion. I honestly think that this is one of the best performances that Charlotte has ever done for a prop. I think she really did a good job on this. You can definitely tell as she's getting older, she's getting more into it, uh, she's definitely a lot more experienced now. I mean, she was good before too, but of course, as you get older, your acting is going to get better. I think she does really good on this one. The phrases are very subtle and creepy. Her voice really matches the prop. It's really good. There's not too much emphasis. There's not too little emphasis. It's just right. I think her voice acting is perfection on this one. I really, really like it. Now, it does have different phrases from on the website video, because that was the prototype phrases, which I was not too big of a fan of those phrases. Nothing against Charlotte's voice acting in those. I think she did great in those, too. Just the phrases themselves, I wasn't a big fan of, like the, this house, it is haunted or whatever, and then it had the violin screeching, or you want to play house with me, haunted house. I, I thought those were kind of weird. Um... 
But I would assume SVI or Spirit agreed because they changed those phrases. So good on them for changing the phrases because I think these ones are far superior and they're much creepier. And uh, like I said, Charlotte does a good job on this one. I'm sure she'll watch this video. So good job, Charlotte, on the voice acting for this one. I think she did fantastic. So there you have it. Really cool prop in my opinion. Definitely, like I said, one of my favorite SVI tabletop dolls released. I really like that uh, they gave us a female clown as we've never seen that before. It gives us more variety and I definitely think it's going to be a good seller because there's a lot of Harley Quinn fans and stuff out there that would probably uh, like this one a lot because she does resemble Harley Quinn a lot. So... I really like this one. I'd say my only complaint with it, and it's not even a complaint with the prop itself, I think the prop was done perfectly fine. I think it's really good. Uh, I really like the animation too. Let me mention, I really enjoy how the head turns one way, and then the next phrase it turns the other way. I think that's super cool instead of just turning the same way every time. I think it's cool, adds some variety, I like it. So my only complaint with it would be the price of $39.99. I got this for $35 with a 20% off coupon. Now it would typically be $34 with a 20% off coupon, but I round it up to donate to Spirit of Children. So if you don't do that, you're gonna get this for $34. So I got this for $35, $5 off. I think she's expensive uh, for what she is, but it's the typical tabletop price. Uh, nowadays and so it's not like it's anything different that we didn't expect if it was cheaper that would actually be a big surprise because that's the typical tabletop price so I don't think it's awful because it's the typical price but I do wish she was cheaper of course maybe 30 but uh, I think I still think if you really like her you should go and get her because she's definitely a cool one so I am going to rate the spinning head Harlequin 8 out of 10. I really like this prop, and I think if you like clowns, if you like dolls, if you like stuff like that, and uh, if you like this type of prop, I think you should go pick it up. I really like it. I think it's really cool, very unique, and it's definitely one of the creepiest dolls that we've seen in recent years. So I hope you all enjoyed. Keep out with the moon, my werewolves.